Okay guys, welcome back to my channel and this is the Beast Inside Chapter 9 and as I can uh, see at least the game sound is recording this time and uh, the microphone is working and uh, you can see my face and everything so it seems like tonight will be a good night everything is going like it should go um, so yeah, let me just quickly do something here Ah, just like that. Nah, it's fine. I think we can keep it like that. And I can move the camera in a little bit. Oh, well. That's fine. As long as you can see whatever you want to see. Anyway, let's continue the game. My search for the intruder has suddenly turned into a nightmare. Emma claims that I was lost in the woods for six hours. To make matters worse, someone broke into my office and stole the telegrams. While following the thief, I ended up facing the terrible truth. We've been watched for a long time. The Soviets, they know everything, every detail. This whole thing is getting more and more complicated. I'm starting to think that Nicholas did not, in fact, lose his mind. He too was stalked by someone with his every step I still think it's his dad where where am I oh fuck who could this is the bottom of some fucking well how do I get out well, that's one way to keep him still I have a sneaking suspicion that as well as the one that's right outside his house. Who wants to take that bed? This is sore, baby. Chop off your arm. Oh well, chop off his arm. He's already dead, so... Fuck, I think I'm gonna puke. He's not gonna feel it. He's dead already. Find a way out of the well. Chapter 9. Family reunion. So who will I be reuniting with except my wife? Okay. I can pick up stones for some other reason. I don't know who this is. Was this one of the spies? Was this the sheriff's corpse lying here? I don't know. He doesn't want to pick up the torchlight. Oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. Pick up the rock and let's see if I can throw the bucket. No. Can I jump for it? No. Let me pick up the stone and throw it something. Oh, really? This guy's full of shit. He can't even throw the rock high enough. Honestly. Rotate. Okay, rotate it to do what? <laughs> uh, okay. This might take a while. Shh. Yo. Now he's got the power of the... Okay. That was the trick. I forgot. I forgot. Sorry. I forgot. Climb, baby. Are you gonna climb or what? No, ah, climb. Yeah. Uh. Eh. Er. Eh. Er. Yeah, but he's climbing so slowly. Fuck, the plank is gonna break. You should have just climbed faster. Oh 
Okay, so I'm wrong. It's not the one outside the house. But it's close enough. Is that my car keys? Oh, just the keys for the bangles. I must get back to Emma as soon as possible. Oh, shit. We are still out in the woods. Okay. Well. He picks up a knife and then he leaves the knife at the bottom. Why? Isn't it a good idea to actually have a weapon? Yeah, I want to go back to the cabin and see what's happening here if I can. Okay, so I'm here where the spy's cabin is. There's the watchtower over there somewhere, so... I have to find a different way back to Emma. Oh, I still have the machete. These chapters are so big these days that I have to cut them in two. Um, How far am I going? Oh, you're pretty far. Let's hope I can actually um, finish this chapter within half an hour. Or at least edit it in such a way that I can be able to show you only half an hour because I know guys don't want to sit the whole day looking at something else you know time is money blah 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 okay we know that my wife is not being honest with me at all First instinct was to go down anyway. Should have just done it. Chapel, firewatch tower. Okay, this is definitely where we were before. There's a torch lying here. But whose torch is it? Is the torch lying here on purpose or is it to point the way so we take it I've left my wife alone and there's a maniac on the prowl I just hope she's all right It's a bit late to think about that, eh? Hey, we found the house. Uh, this is the back of the house, I think. Yeah, it's the back of the house. The sheriff's car is still standing here. Okay, let's see what we can see. Oh, look, someone's behind me. Oh, wow. Oh. Emma! Where is she? The wife's gonna be pissed. Uh, let's go check in the study first. Coffee, donkey. I think she's upstairs. Who will lock a kitchen door? Do you guys think she's down there? Let's just go to the obvious place. Upstairs. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now 
but you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Ha! Ah, told you guys. Emma. He's been here again. This time. What happened to you? Why do you look like this? I, uh. uh slipped and fell into a stream. I'm alright. He's come back. You hear me? He keeps harassing us. The phone doesn't work. Maybe he cut the wires or... The important thing is, he didn't do anything to you. But he could have. We know that she's not being honest with me as well. God. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have left you alone. Did you meet the sheriff? No. He... Uh, no, I must have missed him. I found the telegrams though. And believe it or not, the diary I told you about... Diary?! Nicholas's diary. It'll help me decode them. I just need to find the remaining pages and then... You're doing it again! Someone wants to kill us, and all you're worried about is work? Why don't you think about me? About our child? I do think, all the time. Then do something to keep us safe. And do it fast. It'll Get in the car and leave. I promise. Emma's on edge. She needs to calm down. I better check what the sheriff was up to. Luckily, I've got his car keys. All I'm saying is... Get into the car... And get the fuck out of there! Go back to civilization. Drive to work. Something like that. That's... An obvious choice, isn't it? I must say the house looks very nice now. Compared to what it looked like before you moved in. First take the most obvious one. Case number RCW blah blah blah. August 28th, 1979, P.T. Anderson, Emma Stevenson, plaintiff address, Blackstone and Edge. The, on Tuesday 28th at 4, 12 p.m., the police station in Windham received a phone call concerning a supposed second-degree burglary on a private property in Blackstone. The caller said her name was Emma Stevenson, claimed that while her husband was away, an unidentified trespasser into the uh, property and punctured the tires of Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson's car. I didn't even know that the tires were punctured. Action is taken. Arrived. Okay, so he arrived and... That was that. Additional comments. He never had a chance to write that summary. The same person that turned our life to hell also brought the sheriff's life to a brutal end. Damn, there are the events of Nicholas mentioned in his diary. So he didn't make up or embellished anything. Too bad I didn't know these legends before moving here. The other Mr. Mr. Stevenson, who lived in a very eventful history. In the 1850s, there was an accident in a nearby mine, and at least a few people went missing in the immediate area. When the body of one of the missing people was found, accusations were made against a certain Jacob Hyde, the mine's co-owner, who happened to live in the very same house. It wasn't until years later the other bodies were found, which is why the area has become shrouded in dark legend. The murderer was never apprehended. Okay. Uh, well, let's take this. Let's uh, see in a cabule. What's in a cabule? More What's in this? Info. In the late 19th century, the Hyde family, in order to avoid further association with the accusations against Jacob Hyde, legally changed their name to Stevenson. What? What the fuck? So you are an ancestor. My family and the Hydes are same. one and the same. That's fucking absurd. So someone would have told me if we had such stories in our family history, wouldn't they? Unless, 
Unless it's bullshit. Bullshit invented by the sheriff. He wanted to set me up, mess with my head. W w was he even a real sheriff? <sighs> Fuck, I seriously can't put my finger on this. You're definitely family because you're just as insane as Jacob. It seems familiar, but I can't recall where exactly I had seen it before. Definitely somewhere in our house. That looks like the study. And that looks... Like a fire... But that's the box with the key dial on it. Ugh, I hate these... Another secret. Puzzles. A hidden room in our house. I have to check it out. That fucker could have even been there when we moved in. Too bad I didn't know about it before. Where did he get that from? An uncle from the KGB? The sheriff was Russian because it's a Russian lighter. The sheriff was not a real sheriff. There you have it guys. The sheriff was a spook. Okay, that looks like it is in the itchy nose. I definitely think it's in the attic. I don't think it's in your office. Oh, it is in your office. Okay, close the door. Yes, this can be a secret room. You're right. Oh, here we go. This is it. I just need to place the disc in the opening, just like in the picture. What happens at night will be judged in daylight. What stays hidden in the dark will be revealed in full light. We keep on getting these riddles about what's hidden will be seen, nothing, but everything or nothing remains hidden will be seen. Blah, blah. So, yeah. Okay. Now we've got a codes. Nineteen. Well, I honestly have no idea what that number sequence isn't random. What number sequence is that one of those? Ah, oh, sorry. Escape, 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 end. Number sequence. Number sequence. Aha! What do we have here? Eighteen sixty four AD. Eighteen sixty four year before. It looks like a set of dates. Each corresponds to one letter. Okay. Okay, so how this puzzle works is the same way we did it before. It looks like a set of dates. Each corresponds to one letter. Seventeen seventy three across C. Seventeen seventy three across C. That gives us the letter E. Do we have an E? We do. 
1823 across M. 18... What did you say? 1823 across M. 1823 across M. 1823 across M. Gives you a G. Fourteen ten over N. Fourteen ten. N gives you an O. Thirteen O seven across D. Gives you an I. Seventeen ninety one over T. Gives you an S. And 966 over I. 966 over I. <laughs> if I can find the letters associated with the dates and arrange them into a word, the cipher will be broken. Gives me an M. Egoism. Bingo. That was well thought out, Nicholas. Holy water. Something with a cross key. Okay. No, I'll just put the apple in the right place. Well, we've got the apple with Adam and Eve there. I can take that back. I still thought he was pointing at something. Oh, we can put the apple. I hit him in our house. I've got to check that out. That's why there was a photo of the statue. What was that cursed place? What do all those words and symbols mean? <sighs> Let's see from the beginning where can we start. I make long trips without even moving human beast. Everyone I meet has two faces. One is human, the other is the face of the beast. We both saw through a hole in the wall what my father did to that lady. Haunting dangerous game is the most fun. Furthermore, um, father, mother, son, death likes uh, the forgiveness monsters, sadist, 
E and I. God, Nicholas was look, locked up in a dark room by his father, mentally abused. It's a good thing he wasn't all alone, but they did. Uh, but why did he never mention the other boy in his diary? Not even his name was written in it. Other boy? I've apologized so many times, but he says I must be punished to learn. Dad, why are you hunt hurting me? I kept asking, and he was so furious that his face went red. Finally spat and said, why do you keep hurting us? Darkness is the worst. I hate it. There's nothing that scares me more. I don't know what I did wrong this time. Maybe I didn't do anything. Maybe it was wrong. I was even born. I think my father wants to get rid of me. It's not because I did something wrong. It's about me. He just doesn't want me in his life. I'm a nuisance to him. What else could it be? The fact I took his pencil, the one I wrote with now whenever I bit off, light comes in through the cracks. I really don't know. I've had a dream where I took off my clothes and ran around the inn naked, yelling at guests like crazy. They were scared of me. They were adults and yet they were scared. It was just a dream. In fact, I'm the one who is scared. I broke a plate all, all my dinner wasted. Father thought I did it on purpose. I never do anything on purpose. My hands are shaking. I can't write anymore. Maybe this guy has a split personality and he doesn't even know it himself. I'm not alone here. He's walking around the house too. I'm not sure if he likes it. Oh, I'm not sure if I like it. He's not saying anything, just smiling. I'm looking down, not saying anything. He's actually nice to me. Not the way I first thought he was. At least I have some company for my trips to the wood. I can't tell my father anything. He would get mad. Today's the same old story. Closet and darkness. But this time, he's here with me. I tell him I was good and it wasn't my fault. It's my father. And others to blame. The old man locks me up because he's ashamed of me. He'd rather I hadn't been born or I was someone else. At first he doesn't believe me, but then he says I'm right. He tells me not to worry and be patient. He says everything will be alright. I tell him it's already it already is, because neither of us will be alone again. He actually manifested a split personality, it seems to me. I'm not a child anymore. I didn't have to listen to my father just because he's bigger and older. I'm smart and I have a lot of ideas. I talked about them when we both sat in the dark. I said it's sick. <coughs> Sorry. So what? Maybe I am sick after what the, the world has done to me. At night, we will go in the woods to hunt for dangerous beasts. We went to sleep, so I'm going alone. The old man has brought a new whore to the inn. He thinks no one will notice. I saw Whitehead spit a miner in the face. I clenched my fist, dreaming they are, beaten, they are beating them both to a pulp. He has no idea what I've planned, but it's only a matter of days. I will tell him soon. I know where the old man keeps gunpowder barrels. <coughs> as soon as we get out of the fucking closet, we're going to have a ball. I asked a dame, I asked a dame from an inn if she would show me her twat. She told the old man, plus she took me for N. And now we're both rotting in here. I should have fucking killed her. People like that are just a waste of space. The closet is the worst fucking thing. I wish I could shatter it to goddamn pieces. Well, I know a similar place. In fact, it's quite the same. Dark, cold, and hell-like. I must, it must burn if we want to put an end to our suffering. People are fucking scum. I've said it all along. That's probably why I burned the, into the ground.
The man in the mask. Now I know who he is. What the hell is that? Told you his father. Someone's at the door. The man in the mask, I know who he is now. I figured it out when he came to my aid again. He is my father. I told you guys, it's his father from the bloody beginning. Anyway, up to this far. We are gonna end this game here. Next week we'll do chapter 10. So uh, for the guys who are interested in knowing what's gonna happen, come back then and come and see. But remember, if you wanna see, you have to subscribe to my channel. And then hit that bell icon. So that you can get notified of the upload when it is done. You can also head over to my uh, webpage and go and check it out there. Um, we'll probably make an update or so in the coming week. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this and uh, yeah, see you then next time. Cheers! Please head over to my webpage at www.cryptzone.co.za and come and check out the page. You will notice there is a lot of information on there. Hyperlinks are provided so that you don't have a problem going anywhere. Head up to my podcast page and come and see what am I currently working on on my podcast. There is also the CryptoZone live page, which I will update regularly to let you know when I'm going to do the next show like this one. The goal is to try and do one every week. Head on over to my CryptZone YouTube page and come and check out what are the latest videos that I am working on and also what new videos is up and coming. If you have any queries or questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can email me at shawl.reaper at gmail.com.